And then, boom! Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. Dad is telling us a story. Dad loves stories. The rain poured down. Clatter, clatter, clatter. The sky lit up with lightning and then, <gasps> boom! Oh. More thunder. <laughs> Dad, stop telling scary stories. It's not a scary story. I'm not scared of storms. I'm not scared of anything. I'm a bit scared. It's okay, Cosmo. There are no storms here on the moon. Now, that's enough. I like stories. They make me happy. Intruder alert. Intruder... Sorry. Only the postman. Delivery for a Mrs. Mum. Thanks. Oh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. What is it? <laughs> It's an advanced sensor array designed to measure the electromagnetic... Oh, I thought it might be something fun. Well, I do need someone to drop it off to another planet. Oh, me, me, I'll take it. I'd be brilliant at it. Please! Can I come too? Sorry to, please. <laughs> you don't even know where you're going yet. Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? Today, I need you to go to Jupiter. Wow! Which planet is Jupiter? The really big one. Wow. <laughs> Let's find out about Jupiter. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Jupiter. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This huge gas planet is called Jupiter. Jupiter is orange and brown with stripes. Jupiter has this huge red spot here. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. Biggest by far. So remember, Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Could you please help me remember that? Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Thanks. Cosmo out. I need you to take the advanced sensor array the big shiny machine and drop it into Jupiter's atmosphere right into its big red spot. Got that? Big red spot. Begin launch sequence. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter, Jupiter. Alert. Approaching asteroid belt. No problem. Switching to manual. That's a lot of rocks. They're called asteroids, Dad. Whatever they're called, they're really in the way. I can't see where Jupiter is. Will you help me find Jupiter? Great. Look, we can see three planets through the asteroids, but we can only see little bits of them. Which of these belongs to Jupiter? Some stripy rings, a swirly blue bit, or a big red spot? Which is planet Jupiter? The big red spot, yes. Jupiter.
Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Dad, that's Jupiter. There's the big red spot. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> I don't think the big red spot is a tomato, Sol. Is it, Dad? Tomato? No, it's, um, well, let's find out. As long as it's not a storm, eh? Boom! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> oh! It's a storm, isn't it? We're right in the big red spot. And it is a storm. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends about Jupiter. Its big red spot is a giant storm. <laughs> Noisy tomato. Too scary. Can't move. Too scary. But, Dad, you're not scared of anything. You're right. I'm big and strong, aren't I? Nothing scares me. Ah. Ah, too scary. <laughs> we have to get back inside, Dad. Quick. I'm scared, Cosmo. It's okay. We're inside now. No, I'm scared of what your mum will do if we don't do as she asked and drop this into the atmosphere. Oh. You'll just have to go back outside then. I can't. It's too scary. Can you do it? It's scary for me too. Hmm. Tomato? Oh, Saul is too little. I'm the only one with the most amazing muscles ever. The only one who can lift this shiny machine. The only one who can complete this mission. Gil, take me back up. Have a nice day. Nice? Have you seen it up there? Nice. <laughs> 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 ah! Cosmo, can you hear me? Yep, uh, loud and clear. I have to push this machine all the way to the edge of the ship. I've got the muscles, but this'll take courage, backbone, guts. Cosmo, that's where I need you. I need you to stop me being scared while I do this. How can I do that? I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it! That's right! I'll find a way to stop you being scared, Dad. I know. Stories make Dad happy. That's what will take his mind off being scared. We'll tell him a story. Dad, we're on our way. What's the best way to start a story? Let's see. Once upon a... Hmm. Once upon a... What comes next? Tomato! <laughs> no, that's not right. Once upon a time, that's it. Once upon a time, there was a tomato. <laughs> okay, a tomato. One day, the little tomato had a very important mission. Was he a brave tomato, Cosmo? He was very brave, just like Dad. Whoosh! He had been muscles and he loved to knit. Push! And this tomato went on an amazing journey to Jupiter. Push! Where he got a bit scared. Oh, too windy. I'm not going to make it. But even though he was scared, the tomato was brave and kept going. <gasps> Push! Because even the oh. bravest tomatoes oh. get scared sometimes. Almost there! <gasps> the way it goes! <laughs> and the little tomato completed a very difficult mission all by himself. Not by himself, with his fantastic children who he loved very much. And that 
is the end of the story. Now let's all think up a story to tell Mum so that she won't know I was scared. <laughs> it's okay to be scared sometimes, Dad. You're right. Besides, I was only a little scared. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Silly storm! Noisy tomato! <laughs> 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 Begin launch sequence. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter, Jupiter. It's orangey brown. Got a red spot that's round. It's fifth from the sun. Something amazing today. Jupiter's big red spot is actually a huge storm. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter, Jupiter. It's a giant gas ball. I stood there right in the middle of the big red spot and the helium rain poured clatter, clatter, clatter. I pushed and pushed and then away it went. Mission complete. The sky lit up with lightning. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mum. There are no storms here on the moon. <laughs> you are sure about that, aren't you? No storms. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Phew, I've had enough of storms for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, it's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. Mum has been showing me how to make paper flowers. Flowers? <laughs> Not like that, Sol. I'll show you. Slowly and carefully. When I was a little girl back on Earth, <laughs> I would lie out in my garden full of real flowers and I'd look up. At the stars? At the clouds. Fluffy, all shapes and sizes. Some looked like little fish, others like huge mountains. The clouds sound amazing. Call coming in for you. It's Mission Control. I'd better go and see what this is about. Do you like the clouds? We don't have clouds on the moon. Just sky and stars. I think Mum misses the clouds. Now, slowly and carefully. I did it! I made a paper flower. <laughs> oh, Saul, you've just made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the gym. I just did 300 rowing things. Maybe a thousand. Check out how big I am. I'm the biggest of all. Even bigger than Mum. And she's big. Well, Dad, today you're going to find out what big really is. Mission Control is sending us to the biggest planet in the solar system. Biggest planet? Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? To the biggest planet in the whole solar system, planet Jupiter. Is Jupiter really bigger than me? Yes. Is it bigger than an elephant? Yes. Is it bigger than a blue whale crossed with an elephant that just ate a really big sandwich full of uh, big stuff? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out about Jupiter. The observatory, please. Patching you through now. 
Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Jupiter, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This huge gas planet is called Jupiter. Jupiter is orange and brown with stripes. Jupiter has this huge red spot here. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system, biggest by far. So remember, Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Could you please help me remember that? Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Thanks. Cosmo out. So is it really bigger than... Yes! Incredible! <laughs> <laughs> Begin launch sequence! There is a giant planet It is the biggest one of all Jupiter, Jupiter It's orangey brown Approaching asteroid belt. Floating between Mars and Jupiter are millions of rocks. They're called the asteroid belt. Gil, set course for Jupiter. Through the asteroids? I can't see through rocks, you know. I think I can see something peeking out from behind the asteroids. Planets! We'll find Jupiter. Will you help me find Jupiter? Great! We can't quite see what these three planets look like, but we can see what size they are. Is Jupiter the smallest, the middle-sized, or the biggest one? The biggest! This must be Jupiter! Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot, and it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Thanks for helping! Course set. Destination, Jupiter. Approaching Jupiter now. Is it big? Sensors indicate that Jupiter is huge, massive, humongous. Technically, it's ginormous. It doesn't look that big to me. Well, maybe it is a bit big. <laughs> Dad, take us into the atmosphere. I have some tests to run. Cosmo, why don't you and Saul watch from the observation deck? Here we go! Sheep! <laughs> Those aren't sheep, Saul. Those are clouds. Jupiter is made of gas clouds. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Jupiter is full of gas clouds. The clouds are beautiful, just like Mum used to see in her garden when she was little. Mum misses the clouds. I think she'd like to be a little girl again. <gasps> Gil, these readings for Jupiter's atmosphere are incredible. Gil, where is everyone? We'll need lots and lots of paper. This is going to be a wonderful surprise. I'm fantastic at surprises. I once surprised a donkey. Boom! <laughs> Actually, it made the donkey a bit sad. Right, I'll get the paper. I'll keep Mum from coming in until you're ready. We're going to give Mum a wonderful surprise. Just wait until you see it. <sighs> Dad, <gasps> what are you doing? Nothing. But you can't come in. Why not? You see, something's going to happen. You must leave. What? What's going to happen? Something wonderful. Got the paper. Yay! Now, Sol and I will fold lots and lots of paper.
Paper Ooh. flowers. Flowers! Over and over again. This way or that way. Oh, I can't remember how to fold a flower. I can't do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. I remember, slowly and carefully. I did it, a flower. Saul, did you fold yours? <laughs> Saul? Gil, open the observation deck door. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm afraid I can't do that. Alert, I think Mum really wants to come in now. She's getting a bit cross with me. Okay, we're ready. Dim the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Cosmo? Saul? Dad? What is going on in here? Hmm? Surprise, Mom! We've made a garden, just like the one when you were a little girl. Look! Look at the clouds! Oh, Cosmo. Look closely. Can you find any shapes in the clouds? This one looks like a butterfly. I see a fish. Look for shapes in the clouds. Shout out what you see. A flower. A star. Sheep, sheep. That's right, so That cloud looks like a sheep. I see one that looks like a big ball of knitting with knitting needles and a stripy jumper. Dad. Oh. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The clouds are beautiful. Jupiter is amazing. Thank you so much, Cosmo. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, while you've all been lying around, I've gathered the data we need on Jupiter. I'm not boasting or anything, but it was easy for me. Most of it. You did very well, Gil. Time to go home. Begin launch sequence! There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter! Jupiter! Something amazing today. Planet Jupiter is full of gas clouds. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter, Jupiter. It's a giant gas ball. We're back. Mission come. It's nice to be home. Do you miss the clouds? A little. I loved being a little girl. Almost as much as I love being a mum to a little girl. All of my own. Right here. I lie out in our garden, full of flowers. I open my eyes and look up. At the stars? At the stars. Oh, hello. It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. It's very cold in here. I'm conducting an experiment measuring the exothermal properties of hydrogen in sub-zero temperatures. Mum is playing with cold things. It's all very scientific. <sighs> Stay back, Cosmo. The slightest mistake could ruin the whole experiment. We thought you hard workers could do with a drink. I made water. Well, poured water. Well, salted. <laughs> My experiment! Months of work. Gone. Lovely drinks. Gone. Mummy sad. It's okay. It was only water. But it's frozen all over my experiment. It looks like an ice rink now. An ice rink? For ice skating. I used to love ice skating. 
like a ballerina dancing on ice. Well, I'm too busy for ice skating these days. Gil, how long would it take to reset experiment conditions? Around seven months, four days, 11 hours, 22 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm sure I can find a quicker way. Your mum is the best ice skater I've ever seen. Even better than me, and I'm pretty fantastic. I have very strong ankles. I wish I could go ice skating. I got it! To finish my experiment sooner, I just need to take it somewhere incredibly cold. One of the coldest planets. Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? We're all going to Neptune, one of the ice planets. I'll prepare my equipment. An ice planet? Cosmo, there must be loads of places to ice skate there. Do you think so? Oh, there must be. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Right. Everything's ready. And are you ready for ice skating? Begin launch sequence. <laughs> It cold for me and you. Past all the other planets, towards the solar system's end. The, the ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> That's not Neptune. That's Jupiter. Neptune is very different. Will you help me show Neptune to Sol? Great! Let's draw Neptune. Neptune is round. But what colour is planet Neptune? Yellow, red or blue? Which crayon would I need? Blue! Neptune is a blue planet. That's right. This is what Neptune looks like, Sol. Neptune is a blue planet. Blue planet. Yes, like that planet. Oh, that is Neptune. Neptune is a blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. So everyone needs to wrap up warm. Imagine an ice rink, disco lights. Well, they might not have disco lights, but as long as it's smooth and solid, we'll be able to skate. Who is flying the ship? The ship? Oh, the ship! Oh. 
Entering Neptune's atmosphere now, all under control. Neptune is beautiful. So blue, so windy and swirly. Oh, I can't wait to go ice skating. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. Oh! No swish. <gasps> That's not smooth and solid. Be careful, everyone. The surface of Neptune isn't solid. <sighs> Gil, please extend the platform. Extending now. Thank you for saying please, I mean. It's only good manners, but it's still nice. Not solid. It's not like an ice rink at all. It's not even like the hard ground at home. Neptune's surface isn't solid. It's all smushy and mushy. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune's surface isn't solid. Amazing! But not very good for skating. Pretty sad. Swish, swish. If only there was some way of ice skating out here. Well, no point in complaining, unless there's a Neptune Complaints Department, which I don't think there is. To cheer us up, I brought water for everyone! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Don't worry, I'm fantastic at not slipping on ice! Whoa. Ouch! <gasps> Whoa. Just need to bring this very delicate equipment down to Mum. Watch out, Gil! It's very <laughs> slippy. Slippy like an ice rink. The water has frozen and turned to ice. Dad, we can go skating on the ice. Oh, we couldn't skate on a patch of ice as small as this, Cosmo. For a big ice rink, we'd need lots of water. Gil, how much water have we got? Approximately 5.7968. Gil, is it lots? Yes. Beginning experiment. What now? Now we wait. Oh, if I'd known we'd be waiting, I'd have brought a book. Well, we can enjoy the peace and quiet. Surprise! I wasn't going to ruin it twice, was I? An ice rink? Ice skating! Whoa! 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 Take my hand. I might fall. You might, but you'll get better. I don't know, Mum. I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it! That's right! <laughs> Would you like to skate, Sol? Take my hand. Danger. The experiment was a success, Gil. You did very well. I did? Really? I mean, oh, yeah, of course. I am a supercomputer, you know. Begin launch sequence! 
Landed on Neptune yet, and there's still a lot we don't know about it. But everything you learned about Neptune today is absolutely real. Neptune is a big blue planet. It's farthest from the sun. It's terribly cold. And being made of gas, there's no solid ground. Nothing like your floor at home. Isn't that amazing? See you next time. Oh, hello. It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. It's Lefter's birthday today. Shh, it's a surprise. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> what? Oh, hello. Lefter, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lefter. You have to make a wish, Lefter, and then blow out the candle. Are you sure, dearie? Have you ever seen me blow anything out? I can rustle up quite a breeze. It's not as if you're going to blow us away, is it? For that, you'd need super amazing bagpipe playing lungs like mine. <laughs> Go on, make a wish. Okay then, brace yourselves. Wish. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 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 oh, that was fantastic. Wind, wind. <laughs> that was like wind. Lifter, you have the strongest breath ever. <laughs> so what did you wish for, Lifter? I hope it wasn't a slice of cake. <sighs> oh, oh. What I love more than anything is interior decorating. Decorating? Beautiful designs. And where am I? In this grey room. My wish is to be able to decorate my little room. Wallpaper. I knew it would come in handy sometime. Oh, oh how exciting! Mm. <laughs> no, don't look. This is going to be a surprise. Off you go. Leave me to my decorating. Oh, why don't we go somewhere? We'll come back later and see Lifter's room. Wind, wind. That's a great idea, Sol. We could all go somewhere windy. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? There's Neptune. That's windy. Going to Neptune would give Lifter time to decorate her room in peace. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. 
So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own, Lifter? No, oh, of course, Petal. Couldn't be happier. Wait until you see what I do with the place. Won't you go? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Begin launch sequence. <laughs> it cold for me and you. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end. The ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. Take us to Neptune, Gil. An update for your Neptune location file is available. Downloading update now. Download failed. Retrying. Please wait. We don't have to wait for Gil. Will you help me find Neptune? Great! These are all the planets. The sun is here. If we could remember whether Neptune is close to the sun or far away from the sun, then we'd know which way to go. Is Neptune close to the sun or far away from the sun? Far away! This one is Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. It's out that way, Dad. Update installed. Now, to get to Neptune. We know, farthest from the sun. Well, it would have sounded better coming from a supercomputer. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've landed in a windy part of Neptune. And brr, it's so cold. Brr, cold. I'd really rather stay behind, you know. The trip out will do you good, Gil. <laughs> do you feel it, Sol? The wind is even stronger than Lifter's breath. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> What we need is a kite. And it just so happens... A kite! Watch this, everyone! <laughs> no, don't watch that. That wasn't it. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. Look. <gasps> Stabilising shoes. This indicates that conditions are very windy. Can you be more specific, Gil? Um, yes. Breezy, blustery, one might say. Hmm. Westerly wind approaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. Is that a lot? Yes, that makes Neptune the windiest planet in the solar system. The windiest planet in the solar system? Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. And that's too windy for us. We better head back to the ship. Dad! Don't worry. I did seven extra push-ups this morning. Arms of steel. I'll never let go. <gasps> <Whoa. laughs> Dad, let go! But 
But if I let go, my kite will blow away. It's my favorite kite. It's my only kite. Dad, let go before it takes you any higher. Warning, prepare for massive gust of wind in three, two, one. <laughs> That's right! We can just let go over one of those hills! It's too high! I don't think I can do it! They'll be perfect for a soft landing! You can do it! You can do anything, Cosmo! Really? Of course! Really? I can do it! That's right! Let's jump onto the soft hills! Help me work out when to let go! When we're right above the hill, shout now! Now? Not yet, when we're right above it. Now? Almost! Now! Let go, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Slides. <laughs> We're back where we started. My kite. Oh. You'll get another kite someday. <laughs> <gasps> Let's get inside. We'll go and find out how Lifter is getting on with her decorating. Yay! Begin launch sequence. <laughs> It cold for me and you. And we learned something amazing today. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end. The ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. It is rather lovely, isn't it, sweetie? It's been a wonderful birthday. Just wait until you see the rest of it. <gasps> the rest of what? Oh, Lifter. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> the moon base is beautiful. The whole moon base, every inch. Well done, Lifter. Mission complete. All I have left is this one square of flowery wallpaper. Seems such a shame to let it go to waste. Hmm. A kite! <laughs> go, Dad! Yay! Wind, wind! Wiz. The home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Wiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs>